All right, Halos, how's everyone doing? Welcome back. We're back once again with Drew. What's up, Drew? It is uh, it's going good. Got a bunch of snow. and. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah. Good. How much, by the way? Uh, Do you remember? Like nine inches. Nice, dude. Heck yeah. 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 Yeah, we got anywhere from, like, it depends on the little area, I guess, but it's it was anywhere from, like, I want to say one and a half feet to, like, two and a half feet depending on the area <laughs> it's crazy okay yeah but uh anyways we're, we're back to uh lcs once again we um by the way spoilers obviously if you're clicking this video you should be warned but uh we have the week one standings here we're gonna do a quick reaction video we're not gonna go too deep dive on like the, the the um the drafts or anything we could do in the future but for now we're just gonna kind of do a quick recap and our thoughts on that but uh, you want to open us up with, uh, should we go bo top to bottom or to bottom to top? Um, let's go bottom to top, I guess. All right, that sounds good. Uh, you want to yeah. start us also off? Also, uh, back on the weekends, by the way. Yeah, so good. Dude, I'm so hyped for this season. And Me too. Split, yeah, it's, it's looking really great. Uh, but yeah, I can start off with Immortals. Um, you see down there at the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, not, not really a surprise to me. Um, yeah i think a theme that we're gonna see here is like the teams that are bad are like their rosters just like, there's a very clear split i would say between the top and the bottom half maybe yeah i would say, I would but, say so um honestly i'm really only excited for ole being back yeah so, that is pretty uh, hype actually I feel like he's kind of trapped on this team um so i'm not surprised to see him at the bottom um That's they fair. do have tactical but he's kind of looked like on or off the last last couple of years so right um yeah i don't know that wasn't too i wasn't too surprised to see them down here at the bottom um but i do think they could maybe do some big stuff they have ole and ole is like a pretty pretty good support i feel like he's underrated so it's cool to see him back yeah absolutely it's uh i do want to mention as well another thing um the uh about like the lcs split is the really cool thing is oh my gosh i'm completely blanking what was i gonna say it's you short uh oh yeah yeah that's exactly the thing I, mm -hmm. I don't really like how there's only 14 games that they have to play yeah. total um i kind of was i know it was like a very long shot and i didn't think it was gonna happen but i i know they had a very small turnaround since they got like mark as the commissioner and all that stuff so i don't really blame them really but i hope during summer we can kind of go to something like remember i think it was like four best of one round robin um yeah. that they did back in like 2013 when c9 first joined that was like pretty good and with eight teams you can do a lot of different um different types of uh formats um but it's it's cool in the end but i just wanted to mention that real fast but yeah it's worth mentioning too because now like going 2-0 it's yeah pretty pretty rough honestly because the, the season is not that long anymore yeah i, I want to say jat was saying like each i think it's each game is worth like 14 percent of your your season or something crazy or something it's like crazy. that it's like what the heck that is pretty rough <laughs> but uh yeah either way like you said immortals um i like russ uh uh ole coming back i don't know how you say it ole ole whatever um but yeah, this team, I was my in my eyes, they're probably gonna be bottom two. Like they do have some things that are pretty cool. Like I'm not super big on tactical, but I think um, he can be decent. And like they have Armeo, they, they have Castle. I don't really know about Castle or Mask, but the Castle seems like I think Impact was saying that Castle was pretty good. So um, we'll have to look out for that for sure. But yeah, like you like you said, it's just hard to say for sure um that it's going to be like top of the half top half of the league or anything like that so but unfortunate but i think pretty much everyone expected them to be um o2 at this Towards point the bottom, yeah. yeah yeah unfortunate but it's what it is moving on though they are tied for seventh with uh shopify rebellion the only other o2 team and this team is also like so their first game they went, I believe, up against FlyQuest, right? And they actually put up really good fight um, for a lot of the game, and then FlyQuest kind of got a hold of the game and took it back from them. Um, but I don't know. What do you think about this roster or uh, this team? 
<laughs> they're um it's a weird roster because it's got a lot of familiar names that are kind of yeah. like back like zazel and fake god are mm-hmm. back and wild turtle obviously has been he hasn't really gone anywhere but he's kind of been around a while and then they've got like newer players like insanity that i think were kind of a surprise last year they were yeah pretty, pretty exciting to watch um i am i i don't think they're gonna be top of the league but i don't i'm a little less worried about their 2-0 because i feel like FlyQuest is gonna be pretty good um yeah and i also think tl was looking a bit a bit i thought they would be decent but i think tl came out looking a bit we'll talk about them later but a bit stronger yeah. than i thought they might look so for me like shopify rebellion going 2-0 it's not alarm bells because i think the teams they lost to were pretty good um i'm a little more worried about immortals because they um yeah they lost the fly quest which i guess to be expected but dignitas i thought would be another bottom of the table team and they lost to dignitas so it's like if you can't you know what i mean like, if you can't beat them like who are you gonna beat so yeah 100%, um, 100%. i think shopify could definitely beat like immortals and dignitas and so i I'm think not, so like, too yeah I don't think they're going to come in last. I think they'll be like middle, middle of the. Yeah, I think Shopify and 100 Thieves are probably the the teams that are slightly teams, above Dig yeah. and Immortals in my eyes. Yeah. Um, but obviously we'll have to see. It is just week one, so obviously overreactions and such, yeah. but. Sure, sure. 100%. Sure. Yeah, they have a, do have a pretty good roster. Once again, they, they got Insanity, um, which is really big that they were able to keep him from the TSM roster. And then. I thought it's, did you see the game where he played Zach? Yeah, it was actually really exactly. good, but he yeah. got a little too aggressive, and then freaking uh, inspired and Jensen just kind of shut him down because he yeah. stepped up just a little too far. But that's why I think it's cool to have him in the league because he's a player who will yeah. play some really like off the wall stuff. It's really is, cool to see. Good. Yeah, yeah, and it's honestly great because I'm I'm a big proponent and proponent and fan of that type of thing because yep. sometimes. Like even if you are good enough to play against, um, like to be like as good as the your opponent rather, um, it's just great to have like that ever small advantage over them that they just don't yeah, know sure. the matchup very well. I don't think Jensen ever has played against a Zach mid. Like maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think he has much experience at least. So could probably throw him yeah, for a loop. So. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but yeah, like you like you said, Sandy's pretty big. Um, Zazel is pretty big as well. He's a world semifinalist. Um, they did not have Bvoy yet, so we don't really know how he's going to look yet on this team. They did have Wild Turtle for this first week, um, but I think Wild Turtle looked really good. I actually thought he looked really good, and I yeah, was I like, man, this is going to be really sad when he has to leave for this other guy's yeah. starting position, <laughs> but yeah, uh, sure. hopefully he can get picked up by some team. Although, I am glad that a lot of these teams are looking for like the younger rosters and up-and-coming talent from like uh, yeah. challengers and stuff. Definitely. But I didn't think Fo- Boogie did too bad, and I, I hear a lot of people hyping up Fate God as well. So it's going to be, I think it's going to be a pretty good team, but it is very unfortunate they had to face who they did have to face. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, definitely see. Moving on, you want to you want to start us on 100 Thieves? Yeah, 100 Thieves um, is it's an interesting mix of stuff that I'm excited for and then um, stuff I'm not excited for. So <laughs> I feel like I've seen enough Quid and Isla to kind of know what they bring to the table. Right. Um, I, don't, I don't think they're like going to be best support, best mid in the league. No, um, no. So they're kind of like known quantities, but I'm like super hyped to see Sniper finally in LCS. Um, yeah, me see, And me also too. meet yeah and then meech is like supposed to be he he's been like a hyped up adc from yep, yep. like like uh academy so um i think seeing those two players is like super exciting and the fact that sniper busted out the ribbon in his first game I'm dude like, that okay. was so cool like, yeah that yeah and, and like i know they're gonna i think they'll end up in the middle because with such new players like there's gonna be some growing pains but it is like very cool to see like some hyped up people from the lower leagues finally kind of break into yeah, for sure. LCS. So um, definitely not a team I think that'll be at the top, but I'm like excited to watch all their games, which is which is more than I could say in like years past. So I think it's it's pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. Like even if they didn't have any other teams, I mean, I uh, players, I think Sniper and River is already like starting off really yeah. well. 
But yeah, Quid, sure. I'm not super high on. We'll see how he does. Apparently, uh, River is like bo- boosting him a little bit, so that's that's probably a good, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, to cover up his weaknesses or so, or whatever. Um, and yeah, like you said, Misha's is not becoming. I think he'd probably be good, but it's hard to say for sure. And then Ayla, we kind of know. I don't think he's like super good, but I also don't think he's like the worst support or anything either. Yeah, agree, agree. Um, so we'll have to see, definitely. But yeah, that wraps up 100 Thieves. Um, they did end up going one and one, and it's, I think it's about what you can expect. Um, I think they're probably like, like I said, middle of the table, so we'll have to see for sure. Yeah. Um, so also one one thing to mention real fast is. Uh, NRG, Dig, and Team TL and 100 Thieves are all tied for third right now, so they all have equal scoring. So we're just kind of going from this like little standings, but obviously they're all tied, so it's not really one again, one above the other here, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But um, yeah. Anyways, let's move on to Team Liquid. Uh, TL has Impact, which is really awesome. Uh, it finally gets to return to the roster. And they have Umpty as well, and I actually do like him quite a bit. Uh, I've heard really good things, and he actually speaks uh, English really well as well, which is cool. They are obviously able to keep APA, which is really cool. And um, they do have Yon and Core J once again uh, from the previous year. What's uh, what's your thoughts on this roster and how um, they did? I was curious. I was curious how they were going to mesh together. They looked a lot better than... I thought they'd look, especially this early. Um, Mm. So that's like pretty encouraging. Um, I will say that Umpty um, is fresh in from LCK. So he was actually on my favorite LCK team, uh, uh, Breon. Okay, okay. Uh, But they're not not a good team by any stretch. But he was like, he was on that team last season. So that's my favorite LCK team. So I've watched a lot of Umpty games. um, And his his nickname in LCK was always uh, the general because he was like a big uh, like shot caller. Like that was his whole thing. Right. Um, so I think maybe you already started to see, because I think, I think maybe, maybe you heard some, someone, but I think core JJ has been doing like trying to do a lot of the shot calling for this team for a while. Yeah. Um, I think sometimes it, when you have that, like it can detract from your individual play. So I think like, having another really strong shot caller will help the whole team, but also help maybe core JJ like hone in on some of his just like individual skills too. So I'm, I'm actually kind of a low key hype for this team. I think they could be, I think they will be middle of the table, but I wouldn't be surprised. They could like maybe surprise us and, and end up higher. I don't know. Yeah. I think the highest they'll probably be able to get, it would be third. Um, yeah, they I could agree. probably yeah, edge yeah. out NRG depending on how NRG looks, or even FlyQuest. Yeah. But I think yep. after this week, I think FlyQuest are probably not going to be. I don't think they're going to be yeah. as, as bad as I was like. Wasn't sure if they're going to be really good or really bad. Sure. Sure. <laughs> um, so yeah, for sure. Uh, I think Tail's probably going to be pretty good, but I don't think they're going to be in the bottom half. That's for sure. I don't think. No. Yeah. I think it'd be very strange if they went fifth or lower. I think fourth is probably about where they'll head, but they do end up in the week one and one, so we'll have to see how it goes. I think, in my opinion, Yon is probably the weakest link, and they'll have to um, yep. prop him up to be able to make sure that that works out. But I don't know. We'll see. I think a lot of people are focusing APA um, from what I saw in the games, so um, they might be able to even like make APA a weakness if, if everyone just like kind of dogpiles him on, on him. Yeah, sure, We'll have to sure. see. But uh, yeah. Pretty good roster. Uh, start us yeah. off on Dig. Ignatas, I think, is in my opinion, might be one of the other two bottom teams at the very end. Yeah, um, I think so. Their, I don't. Their roster is not like. It doesn't inspire like a ton of confidence. No, um, no. I, I'm like when I look at it, and I try and figure out like who they, who's their like win condition. Like I guess maybe, based on how he played sometimes last year, like Rich would just be yeah pretty much i think strongest so. player but i don't even think he was like that that good last year i think he was just like you know he was pretty good but i don't think you can build a whole team around him yeah probably um, not probably not so how do you think they look that good either coming out i know it's like a kind of a new new lineup so they'll probably take time to come together but yeah i don't yeah. think i don't think their like ceiling is much higher than like six or seven in my opinion yeah that's fair 
Uh, I'd agree. I think Rich is probably their best player. I think I, I, he did actually do pretty good in uh, up against at least Dokla um, in mm-hmm. the second game, which was like I think the last game of the day on day two. Um, yeah, it was he did pretty well actually, and I think he's probably like the shining light here. Um, Tomo, I've heard good things about, but he's I think he's an academy ADC that came in, and um, Isles is kind of a known quantity. I don't think he's like super good, but he's also like maybe maybe not the worst. I'm not sure actually. He might be pretty low, um, like no flame, but uh, I just yeah. don't know if he's like as good as some of the top um, supports. And then uh, Dove is just unknown to me. He's a Korean import of the mid laner, and then. XU, actually, I think he did pretty decent, honestly, as an NA jungler. Um, I think he's also from Academy. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Like you said, I think they're probably one of the bottom two. Um, they could maybe inch their way into, like, 6th or 7th. Or I don't think they can make 5th, but it's possible, I suppose. <laughs> but we'll have to see for sure. Um, yeah, that's about it for that one. Mm-hmm. All right, and then next up we got uh, NRG, actually, which, funnily enough, is actually tied with all the rest of these people, um, all yeah. the rest of these teams right now, just one and one But honestly, um, their score is not, like, that, like, telling of how their actual um, their strength is, I suppose. They have everyone's the same except who he, um, who he joins instead of Ignar, as Ignar, I think, went to Europe or something like that. And yes, yeah. uh, this is great. I mean, it in my mind, it's basically an upgrade. I mean, you could argue different strengths and weaknesses of both of them, but I think they're around the same level-ish. Um, yeah, and they yeah I'd say so. Yeah, they obviously went to like quarterfinals like last year. Um, and they're, they're a good team, but at the same time, um, we can't forget how... Like I think they went like nine and nine in uh in the regular season in summer before mm-hmm. making their playoff run. So it's hard to say exactly where they'll end up. Um, they might do another uh run in the um what's it called playoffs, but hard to say for sure. Yeah, I um I also heard they took since they were you know playing all the way into quarterfinals at Worlds. I heard they took um like the longest break oh, of any yeah. team. Right. Um, Cause they just played like so many extra games. Um, yep, yep. So I wouldn't be like surprised to see them look a little rusty. That's but fair. I, yeah. I would imagine like, you know, after a week or two, they should be, they should be back into form. Um, I do think who he's like, it, it was, in, I actually heard, um, which I think I agree with, like Ignar is like just slightly above who he in terms of, engage supports. that's fair yeah yeah, yeah. Um, like, like slightly above but who he is like a million times more flexible so i think overall you would probably want who he because that's fair yeah. when when it wasn't like engage support meta ignar was was pretty bad so <laughs> yeah, yeah. having who he you still have a pretty good engage support but he can also play kind of anything you need so that's like yeah i think i think they'll probably be pretty happy um and, and i don't know if you saw on the broadcast but did you know i didn't know this but um they pointed out or they made a point that FBI and who he like 75% of their professional career has been played with one another. <laughs> yeah. Which I didn't sounds know. So right. They, so actually. They, yeah. So like those two guys have played a ton of games together. So I think like it, it should be totally fine. To yeah. It should be good. Synergy for here. sure. Um, yeah. yeah. But yeah, we'll have to see. I, like I said, well, actually, what do you think their ceiling is? Do you think I could make one? Ah, uh, we'll talk about it when we get to C nine. But I, I think, I think they're gonna get second. I think second. It's okay. It's gonna be hard to to right. one up this C nine roster. But... Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree for sure. All right, start us off on FlyQuest. Let's see, FlyQuest uh, looking completely different um, <laughs> this go around. Um, and I gotta say, I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty hype on this FlyQuest. Yeah, I was about to say. Uh, hype. I wasn't sure how they'd all like. <laughs> mesh together but after this first week um pretty happy so they've got blippo back into pro play in the top lane and honestly like i don't know what you thought but i did, I, I thought it didn't even look like he missed a missed a beat um, yeah pretty much he looked he looked really good for having a whole year off um inspired 
is is always going to be super super solid. I think he's probably top two jungler in the league. Um, Inspired's always going to be really good. Um, and then you've got Jensen, you've got Busio, um, and the other the kind of I would say like the unknown factor would be Masu, but he is also supposed to be like a really hyped up AD carry from Academy. So um, I don't know. I just overall I thought my biggest question was like could these players mesh together and so far so good so i'm, I'm pretty hyped on FlyQuest. yeah me too uh i think this team is pretty awesome the only ones i'm like not so sure about are jensen and masu but uh masu mm -hmm. i think was um like it was very hyped as well as uh the other guy meech i think meech um, yeah they were like the two like rivals basically Asian yeah pretty rivals. much yeah. Uh, I think Masu is the one that won with disguise, but uh, you could I could be wrong yep. about that, so don't quote me on that. But um, yeah, so I, I think he's probably going to be good, but obviously he's a rookie, so he, he might take a little bit of time. And that's fine. Um, but uh, yeah, I think Jensen. We'll have to see how good he does, but I think he can be fine because he has a really good roster around him. So um, yeah, like you said, super hyped to have Wipo back. I actually love him. I've been like dying for every like little content piece he comes out with or like whatever yeah. um he's he's really awesome i love how he thinks about the game and he's very good obviously he went to finals world finals and could have won but uh it didn't have up end up winning that time <laughs> yeah and i would um i would say i'm less worried about jensen in this specific roster because i think if he just plays stable control mage like nothing too crazy right um which i think he can do i think like whippo inspired and busio give enough like wild card energy like like crazy energy that mm -hmm. you know what i mean like i think i think you don't need jensen to be like super flashy i think if he's just like yeah that's stable. very true yeah just um, have him on whereas in, like other rosters yeah other rosters you would need him to do more i think in this one he can just be solid and like stable and it will be like perfect so yeah um, yeah i think I think uh, second or third, second or third. I'm um, top three. I'm, I'm thinking. I think so. Very yeah. early, but yeah. for sure, I I think probably second or third. We'll have to see how C9 does, but um, there's a mm. there's a there's an argument for them getting first. <laughs> yeah, I don't true. think they'll get fourth or lower unless something crazy happens. Um, but yeah, yeah, Inspire's awesome, great, awesome to have back as well. So, all right. Uh, last but not least, we got Cloud9. Let's go. Yes. Um, Hi. yeah, uh, Cloud9, super big. Uh, they got their roster upgraded with, uh, Jojo Poon and for, I think, m &S. And then, um, I mean, pretty much the, almost the same everywhere else. We got, um, Vulcan in for Zvin as support. Vulcan's basically at least one of the best, if not the best support in the league right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And... Jojo is almost hands down the best mid laner, um, arguably. But yeah. Um, yeah, I think it was. Uh, actually, I don't remember. Did he get MVP last on Summer Split? I think he did. He did. I feel like he. But did. I can't remember for sure. <laughs> Either way, um, he's super good. I think he got it in one of the splits. I can't remember if it was spring or summer. It might have yeah. been spring. Yeah, I'm not sure. I can't remember for sure. But uh, yeah. Um, super good. This team, as long as they don't have any problems, um, are pretty much going to be hands down the best team. Uh, and we'll have to see, but yeah, I think, I think they can pretty easily get first. I think the lowest they'd go is probably second unless something crazy happens. But, um, yeah, I think either NRG or flight quest could probably get above them. Um, in certain situations but that's most likely like more like playoffs if anything i don't yeah it's possible they, they could go to second in terms of just best of ones but in playoffs i think they'll probably win the entire split <laughs> i think so they um uh, yeah i mean i think you, exp you you called it out really well but when you just go through the roster like falcon arguably best support or if you don't say he's like the best he's probably second best um yeah Berserker, definitely the best ADC. JoJo, I think, yeah. pretty definitively best mid. And then Blabber, you're probably going to say best or second best inspired. So, yeah. like, four positions are either number one or, at worst, number two in the league. Yeah. And then Fudge, who you would say, okay, well, Fudge is the weak link. He's not, like, 
he's not bad. You know what I mean? By yeah. any stretch. Like, so even like your quote unquote weak link is, is pretty solid. So yeah. I, uh, yeah, I have a hard time seeing how a team would be able to like beat them consistently, like over an entire season. Yeah, for sure. Um, also, I did forget about like mentioning some stuff about Fudge. I like, it, of course, we'll have to see how he plays, um, because mm-hmm. we know from the past he can be the best top lander by far in the league, and then other times he can just be like, just not the just not the best, but like middle of the pack to upper pack, you know. <laughs> so um, yeah. we'll have to see how he performs a split. But so far, I think he's doing just fine. So. I don't think yeah, we're really I think worried. he's definitely in the top half, right? Because like when I think about the oh, other yeah. top laners, um, like maybe I like obviously I like Lippo a lot. Yeah. I like Dokla, and I probably like Impact as people who might be above Fudge, but yeah. that would still put you know what I mean. Like in like worst case scenario, I think he's probably fourth. Yeah. Um, so that's still pretty good, especially when the rest of your team is like the best. So I think. Yeah. yeah, Cloud Nine definitely early favorites in my opinion. Yeah, in my opinion, I wouldn't even say Dokla is honestly better than him. I would say just Bwipo could be probably, yeah. and yeah. then Impact f- could be definitely for sure. But yeah. obviously, yeah. Impact's on a fair. worse team, so it kind of just doesn't matter as much <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, for sure. So yeah, all right. Well, that's pretty much wraps up everything we have to say about uh, Week One. I think. Uh, these standings are pretty roughly accurate. We'll have to see. Like, like we said, FlyQuest could just be way better than NRG, um, as this would suggest, or they could just be kind of flip-floppy. We're not sure. But, um, yeah. Either either way, I think that's it for us. Any final words, Drew? No. Um, excited. Yeah, no, just excited. I feel like we'll have a much better idea by like week three once we yeah. get to more games where these where these teams will stand but it's a uh, pretty exciting i'm uh more excited for this season than like the past couple so yeah i would say so as well this is really hype uh so yeah definitely watch the stream the lcs and watch our content when we can when we can do it <laughs> yeah all right catch you guys later bye